doing some illegal arrest, let's do it on camera. I want to get arrested today. If we're saying we're getting arrested for me right here, I want to do it on camera. I'll leave with my people, they can take it on. But if we're talking about getting arrested on the sidewalk, for being on the sidewalk, yeah, I'll, I'll stand up for that. I'll get arrested for that. And I, as a journalist just trying to get a hold of this documentary event, I'm there on top of it. Oh no, we got this recorded, John Cooper. We're good. We're on. These guys know how it is. I guarantee you, I'm it's not game time. on the sidewalk, and I guarantee you, I have a right to oh, be gonna, right here. Are we gonna arrest so now, for being here? That was I do, been arrested. But I'm gonna stand right here. So now, if you think I'm blocking the sidewalk, go ahead and arrest me. What's wrong with your arrest, or is it broken? Am I, if we lay down here, are you gonna arrest us? Yeah. You yeah. You're gonna arrest us if we lay down here. No, I yeah. can lay down right here too. Because there's a law that says I can. It says between the hours of 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. that I can lay on this sidewalk. That's what your own law says. Won't you look no, at so it? You're, but 11, you're saying 30 if we lay down right now, you're going to arrest us. Point. Yes. I just want to clarify. Yeah, Let's get ahead. this just clarified. So I know what to take to the mayor tomorrow. Okay, if, I laid, to the mayor, huh? if I lay down right here, you're going to arrest me. Yes. If you're blocking the sidewalk... No, not if I'm blocking no, the no, sidewalk. No, John, let me, let me just get it on record. Let me just get it on record. We don't even need to do any any well, dramatics. Dram you're, okay. You're the one with the camera. You guys are you're making the big No, so we're trying to figure out I'm what is find out what is a legal right. The what is the legal right? right you for blocking the sidewalk. And those have been thrown out in court. So yep. what, what am I to look at how case. illegal arrest? Illegal okay, court. exactly, because they've been thrown out. Have you ever heard of so are we just going to do this process over and over again where I you guess. just okay yeah, then I want to make sure I have proof of it when I go talk Check to the mayor and tell tell him the way that you guys are enforcing this is incorrect a big deal because I'm going to lay here and there's nothing you guys are going to be able to do to stop me even if you arrest me every night exactly that's cool give me a good free meal every single night a nice place warm place to stay because as soon as I get there I'm going to get put in my own little cell because I'm going to make a little ruckus yeah and, we'll, and we're going to keep on doing that that's exactly the point is that like from all the way over there to come over here to make a big scene because you know we know why you're here it's not like you guys are here by random circumstance we've been staking out this place we've been video documenting what's been going on in the activity here we know that you guys have heard that the Occupy is coming back here to this place and you guys need to enforce real tough and what you're saying is if I lay down here you guys are going to arrest me yes tomorrow or actually June 21st we're gonna certainly test this but between now and then I definitely I want the document of it so I can take it to the mayor so we can figure out how to enforce this appropriately and we won't fight you against it. so you guys can go we I think we got this handled unless you want to arrest somebody I'm gonna hang here so you guys don't go back in the park we're just chill we're not going anywhere you say we just can't lay down we're just gonna chill around here we're gonna be here yeah cool if you Mr. think McLean, I'm in the park, yeah. arrest you. It's you that simple. As long as you don't break exercise of my oh, First Amendment did. rights, you're not allowed to do that. So no, you do whatever you like. Oh man, that's like I didn't get that whole thing. You're always allowed to arrest me, just like I can do whatever I want. Anybody can do whatever they want, but there's consequences okay, whenever Mr. they Cooper. decide to do that. We're done talking to you. All right. Well, peace. Have a nice night. Apparently, they're going to reoccupy. I'm not. Li I guess we'll do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow and the next day. Let me get. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe, guys. Get the real bad guys now. So it's just past 6.05. We're here in the park. I think after the end of this, you guys have been abreast of a very eventful evening that we had with the police officers tonight in reference to whether we were able to sleep in this area here and what exactly is specified as being part of the park and what is part of the sidewalk. Um, we're going to be focusing most of our attention today on getting the complaints and getting the assessment of what happened from all of the victims that were here that were threatened by the Tucson Police Department and we are going to take that to Mr. Avery, the defendant's attorney, who is currently handling 
the case of John Cooper and Jonathan McLean versus the city of Tucson and get a clear definition of exactly what the confines are of sleeping in this area and how they are not showing an amicus against Occupy, protesters, or possibly even homeless and their current regulation of this area according to what the Tucson Police Department street officers, arresting officers, told us earlier. So this is just one of the many pieces of evidence that will exist. We have here on record that it is 606 according to the clock that is well maintained by the city of Tucson here at Bente de Augusto Park. We'll keep you, the audience, the public, our family, in tune with every single thing that's going on so that way we can all realize that it's not just this group of people right here whose rights are being violated, but it's all of our rights. And they're doing whatever they wish with impunity. And if we do not stand up now, you could be walking down the street and they can arrest you for whatever they want, imprison you, you don't even get a jury trial, and there's nothing you or your family or anybody who ever knew you can do about it. It's up to us. We can either change or allow the system that we all resent to make us resent it even farther.